Gentle Giant adopts this tiny rescue owl and warms hearts everywhere. A person can find friends in the strangest places. You could meet your best friend while riding the bus home from work, or maybe you met in the school many, many years ago. No matter how you found each other, the fact remains that you did, and that's really all that matters. Sometimes our friendships are formed because we share common interests. However, friendships can be a case of opposites attracting, too. That was definitely the case with this pair of unusual animal friends. Poldy the Owl and Ingo the Belgian Shepherd should have been natural enemies, but fate had a funny way of changing everything. Poldy the Owl didn't hatch until six days after his other brothers and sisters. Being so late to hatch meant that Poldy missed the opportunity to bond with the other owls. Unfortunately, this meant he would be lonely for the rest of his life. Luckily for Poldy, that didn't happen, and it was all thanks to Ingo the Belgian Shepherd. Their beautiful and highly unusual friendship has been captured on film by German photographer and animal lover Tanja Brandt. Poldy, which is short for Napoleon, wasn't just the last owl of his clutch of eggs to be born, he was also the smallest. His size alone made him exceptionally vulnerable to predators. Because of this fact, Poldy would never be able to live free in the wild. However, the one-year owlet didn't seem to mind this fact in the least, and it was all due to his love of Ingo. Poldy might have been small and vulnerable, but his unlikely best friend came from a long line of fearsome police dogs. Both animals are now Brant's pets, although at the beginning it was just her and Ingo. She and the dog would watch the owl's nest in a tree by their house every day, and when it became clear that Poldy's egg had been abandoned by his mother for failing to hatch, Brant and Ingo took over. Brant said that the relationship between Ingo and Poldy was that of protector and his charge, but it also went deeper than that. Even though Ingo was much bigger than Poldy, they still spent their days snuggling, napping, and just generally enjoying each other's company. Because Poldy has known Ingo since birth, he had no reason to be afraid of the sweet, gentle giant. They spent their days exploring the acres of land on Brant's property. Sometimes when Poldy got tired, he simply rested on Ingo's head and let the dog do the walking for them both. Brant said that the duo was every bit as close as their portraits conveyed. These two didn't need a lot of fancy toys to keep them happy. All they needed was the other's company, and nothing could ever make them more content. Because Brant spent each and every day with the unlikely pair, she was able to capture all sorts of intimate photographs of the two, like this funny shot of the partners in crime begging for scraps from Brant's dinner plate. Even when Ingo felt like roughhousing, as dogs tend to do, Poldy wasn't scared off. Just check out this adorable image of the dog chomping down on some springtime blossoms while Poldy looks on with interest, and yes, a little bit of confusion. The relationship between these adorable creatures serves as an important reminder to everyone about the power of friendship. While they might have been very different, instead, what united them. Even snowy conditions couldn't stop these two from enjoying each other's company. It might have been a little cold outside, but Ingo was happy to use his thick fur coat to keep Poldy nice and warm, even when he was sitting on a pile of snow. Don't you wish that you could read their minds? It's clear that these two spoke in their own special language, but what on earth could they even have to talk about in the first place? Nests? Smells? Scheduling the next nap time? While these two might have been born into different families and different species, it was clear that they considered themselves to be brothers. Their friendship wasn't one-sided. Poldy felt protected around Ingo, and Ingo had a loyal companion to nuzzle and play with. While Brant's post portraits were certainly lovely, there was something even more charming about all of the quiet, candid moments she caught on film. Look at Ingo just lying back and relaxing, with his owl friend. While Poldy might still have been just a young owl, it was clear that he had an old soul. His friendship with Ingo was certainly one in a million. How lucky were they that they lived with a woman who was able to capture their feelings for each other so eloquently. Because Poldy was so young and because both of these animals lived under Brant's supervision, they would have plenty of time to savor being in each other's company. Surely as time went on, they would only learn to love each other more. It just goes to show you that you don't need to have anything in common with someone to forge a bond that will pass the test of time. If you doubt it, just look at these two and be reminded of how love doesn't see with anything other than the heart. Have you ever seen anything cuter than the way these two are with each other? It's so awesome that their owner happens to be a brilliant photographer. Share this awesome story with your friends below.